M I A. I'm jealous. The following show will feature some language and content that may offend some people. If you feel like complaining, simply save us all the time and energy and turn us off now. With that being said, Men in Armchairs proudly presents to you. Gun the business. Good job. Across the dirt sheets and social media, there are constant arguments over who is killing the wrestling industry. Names such as Vince McMahon, the Young Bucks, or the Elite in general. Vince Russo and concepts such as political correctness and cancel culture all being thrown into the hat as culprits. Who is truly killing the wrestling business? Can't even be killed. The real problem with pro wrestling is the concept of real. Not the idea that of kayfabe in wrestling, but rather the idea of any form of wrestling being the one true real type of pro wrestling. Some hold the Jim Cornette view, harking back to Southern traditionalism of the 80s and early 90s wrestling scene. Or some hold a more Vince McMahon approach, seeing wrestling as the means to a great big story heavily backed up by promos and scripted segments. Some like the view of Cowboy Bill Watts, that it's a true sport, with little promos or storylines and just, too, just true, tough bastards batting it out. Some prefer to hold the view of PWG or Ring of Honor in the last 18 years or so with spot fest matches and little in the way of storyline via promos, but rather using social media to help get eyes on the product, with the odd exception being their world title. Some even hold the view of Vince Russo, preferring tantalizing soap operas with wrestling just being a means to an end. He literally go on and on and on. With such huge differences in products like WWE or Lucha Underground, Ring of Honor, Shimmer, AEW, New Japan Pro, GCW, AAA and many others, no surprise that there was so many arguments over what real wrestling truly is. Don't believe me? Now just look at politics and religion. There are so many forms of Christianity. You've got Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical, Mormon, Quaker, Baptist, Methodist, Fundamentalists, and so on. And even within those groups, you will find people arguing over what a real, true Christian is, even amongst themselves. This is you will find people over in the States will argue what a real Democrat or true Republican is. You'll find this kind of thinking everywhere, in society and in entertainment. So is there really such a thing as real pro wrestling? Or is it just another elitist argument you find on forums? So think of it this way. Tango, Oats, Ballet Salsa, Tap and Foxtrot are all types of dance. They are, regardless of what you think of them, dancers. They all have their goats and their own personal fandoms and people who view them as not real dancing. But they're all legitimate types of dance. Wrestling is the exact same. Whether it's sports entertainment, hardcore deathmatch, luce libre, traditionalist, throwback, soap opera or strong style, they are all real forms of pro wrestling. You don't have to enjoy the product, you cannot state they are simply not real. What does this all mean? The truth of the matter is that no one in pro re in wrestling business has the power to kill the business. It's just not how it works. Someone like Vince McMahon can try to buy out companies and contracts and throw his money around and has done and most likely will continue to do so in the future. But remember, all he's doing is offering that opportunity. It takes someone to accept that deal. It takes a rival promoter to sell the company or a wrestler to sell that dotted line. So if this is what you consider killing the business, it's not Vince McMahon you've got a problem with, but rather everyone who accepts the deal and, that op and the opportunity. But be prepared, because that's a very long list. You may argue that it's still Vince's fault because he has the final decisions and he'll bring talent in and use them poorly. Fans will point to a whole host of talent as examples. However, is this still Vince killing the business? But certainly Vince not being smart, but we're not here to argue whether he's a good booker or if not, or even if he's out of touch at this point in time in his life. The thing is, there is a relationship going on between 
issues to be going on in wrestling that people just don't seem to fully grasp. It's a true trinity of for wrestling. It is the owner, the talent, and the fans. Clearly, owner has a lot of power here, being the final say on what matters. However, an owner needs talent to sell the fans, and the owner needs fans willing to buy that talent. This is where people will never really fall into the Roman Reigns argument. Of course, which was formerly the John Cena dispute. Itself actually formerly the Triple H conundrum, originating from the Hulk Hogan paradox. To a point at Vince McMahon saying that they were sh- that he was shoving Roman Reigns down their throats and thus killing the business. Because nobody wants to see Roman Reigns. This is bullshit. Of the highest caliber, my friends. Listen, WWE stocks have gone up and down as they always have done and will continue to do so. Their ratings and numbers have fluctuated and you can make a reasonable argument as to which decisions were good and bad or why this has happened. However, there's an argument you simply cannot make and that is that nobody wants to see Roman Reigns. The truth is people did and still do. Certainly not everyone is a fan of Roman Reigns. But a lot of people are. And a lot of people paid a lot of money, millions of dollars, collectively in ticket sales, network subscriptions, and merchandise. To support the big dog. A man that was loudly booed out of buildings of being billed as the top babyface. Just look at the night after he beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. This is the problem with saying no one wants to see something. Because it assumes that every fan thinks the same way, but that cannot and simply is not true. Some fans get amped up to hear there's going to be a 30 minute sub- ultimate submission match between two technically skilled wrestlers, whilst others consider that too long and boring and lacking any excitement at all. Some fans love the intensity of a street fight with weapons representing the measure of a fighter's will and tenacity, while some Hide away from the screen, unable to watch as a steel chair bends around the head of some poor bastard. Some fans would tell you the best thing that happened on the show was a comedy segment that had no wrestling at all and was ma- but made them laugh while building story and characters. While others would call it stupid and pointless dumb. To the point they question why they even watch anymore. Wrestling is varied and there is something for everyone. You cannot kill pro wrestling. Given that there is something for everyone, you cannot, simply will not, kill the pro wrestling business, or at least it's incredibly unlikely it will ever go away. As long as that fabulous Freebirds relationship, gang of owner, talent and audience exists, pro wrestling will never die. If one owner isn't selling what you like, you can bet there will be another owner willing to do so. The problem, however, is that some fans don't support the alternative owners and talent. Sometimes promotions start up and they try to offer an alternative. But if they don't have the fans to buy in, that just doesn't sell. AEW would never have succeeded without the three-point relationship. They had an owner in Tony Khan with Cody Rhodes, willing to sell amazing talent like Jungle Boy, MJF, and an audience willing to buy in. The same goes with TNA, Lucha Underground, New Japan Pro Wrestling, AAA, literally any company that's ever existed, whether they are still operating or have shut up shop. Even if a fan base completely gives up on an owner or talent, there will always be another owner or talent waiting in the darkness, brooding around a gargoyle like the Dark Knight himself, waiting to do business with you, the audience. With all this being said, can we say that anyone is killing the business? Or companies can seriously do, seriously do harm to their product. Talent can harm their relationship and to the point where some will destroy them with the fans. And fans can decide not to support a promotion, promoters, or talent. However, there will always be an owner willing to sell, talent willing to do business, and an audience willing to buy in. So was it Vince McMahon in Titan Towers with the PG era? Or was it James E. Cornett in Louisville with the anti-PC rants? Or was it the elite? The, the elite. In Jacksonville, F- Florida, was spot fest that did the deed. The truth is, no one is responsible for killing pro wrestling. Because like Hulkamania, this business will live forever.
I am the carriage broom, and that was remarkable. Thanks for watching, guys.